What is up? It is New Year's Eve, guys. Welcome to the new weekly reading vlog. I'm Madison Mary, and this is my channel. I have actually finished a book today. I finished A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. Don't know what I'm reading it yet. I think I just had such high expectations for it that they weren't met. I actually really enjoyed the fact that they had Charlotte Holmes with a drug addiction that's very prominent with the Holmes family. I just didn't like Jamie as much as I would have hoped, which is kind of sad. I think that he should improve in the next couple books and I did just start. I'm on like page 15 of the last of August. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to read that this week. I did start a new book. I don't remember what it's called but it's a new romance book that is had on my Kindle. It's about a girl who sells her virginity, help her pay for medical school, so kind of like that. If this doesn't go so well, I might try and see if I can find like a college new adult romance instead because those tend to be ones that I fall in love with and I'm a huge fan of, so we'll see. But yeah, that's all I have to say for now and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Bye! It's been a hot minute, guys. Um, it is Wednesday, December, huh, no, January 2nd. We actually left the beach today and we're now at the Crown in Melbourne. So I'm going to be spending the next two days here until we leave on Friday for America. Let's see, Monday, I'm pretty sure I finished. Was it Monday that I finished? Yeah, Monday I finished studying in Charlotte. I then started the last of August. It's not that I don't enjoy it, it's just not a book that I'm currently in the mood for reading and because I'm not in the mood to read it, I'm gonna put it in the back burner for a little bit. I have been reading more of my romance book and I actually am loving it. I'm thinking of definitely giving it a four out of five stars. It's not as, it's smutty, but not as smutty as other books that I've read. However, for this book, in retrospect, the romance itself is one that I really enjoy, and so I'm just really loving it. Let me just quickly grab and see what it's actually called. Yeah, I'm 73% through it. This book is called At Any Price, and it is by Brenna Aubrey. I think I'll definitely finish it tonight after going to dinner with my cousin. I think I'm just going to stay on the whole romance thing to the moment. Yeah, that's all, and I will catch up with you guys later. Bye! <laughs> lighting right now but you know hotel rooms what can you do um just want to quickly fill you guys in on what i've been reading it is <laughs> what day is it even so it is 11 31 p.m on thursday january 3rd our flight leaves tomorrow morning at 11 a.m but just to catch you guys up yesterday after finishing my book i decided to start the deal by al kennedy i read it i want to say like two years ago and I absolutely loved it and I thought it was one of the best new adult romances and she's just come out with the original paperbacks of the ab covers and I'm really tempted to buy them but I realized that I actually had not read the whole series and so because of that I bought the second book in the series and decided I'm actually just going to restart the entire series so I'm rereading the deal and then I'm just going to keep on going from there and read all four books. There's only been one thing that has happened that really pissed me off in it. One of the two characters, I forget which one it is, one of them goes, oh, I'd rather cut myself than do that. And I was just like, mm, no, like I, oh, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves in books is when they like nonchalantly lose that kind of stuff. And the main character, like 
from the very first page she mentions that like years ago back in high school she was raped and that's like not a spoiler thing because like it's on the first page i just kind of find that this book is a little bit more nonchalant in regards to rape culture and so that's a little bit of a tricky topic as well so there are a few things in this book that I don't think I realised the first time around. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. The next few clips you'll see will be me travelling back to the United States. Bye! <laughs>
I do have my fairy loot to unpackage. I was gonna do a separate unboxing for it, but it's been so long since it was shipped out and I was already spoiled for what's in it. Someone on Instagram posted the um, exclusive arc. So that really sucks. Um, so I'm going to have to just deal with that. I just want to give a shout out to Piana. She was so sweet the entire time I was traveling yesterday and just dying internally. So she is such a sweetheart. And yeah, that's all I have to say for now, guys. And I will catch up with you later. Bye. I'm Madison Mary and I work. No, I've already done this one. <laughs> hey guys, so it is Tuesday, January 8th. <laughs> well, this is a long weekly reading vlog because <laughs> it's past a week. Um, but I'm just gonna update you guys pretty much on what I read last week and not like these last two days because I haven't even read anything these last two days, so <laughs> wouldn't even count anyway. Anyway, oh my god, my life, honestly, I can't. It's just been such a hectic last couple of days. I actually, so Sunday night, I didn't sleep a wink. I tried to sleep and I couldn't. In the end, I actually fit, read two books. I finished one book and then I read a manga, which was like not my plan, but I legitimately could not fall asleep and I was just like, that's it, I'm giving up. And then last night, I fell asleep at like 9.30, 10. And then we wake up until this morning at like nine. So equivalent exchange. <laughs> so when I arrived back on Sunday, I had a package and I was like, oh, what's in this? And then I realized, oh, right. Natalie over at Pages and Panel had mentioned that there was this manga that was on sale for just $5 on Amazon. And I was like, oh, and she said that it's one that she really loved. And so I was like, well, why not? Let's grab it and see because it's a boys love manga and I have never actually read one of those before. And that manga is I Hear the Sunspot by Yuki Fumino. Oh my lord! This is such a cute manga! I had no idea how flipping adorable this was. The only thing, like I love the storyline, it was great, it was so sweet. It's about a boy who has like a hearing disability and then this other boy who like suddenly stumbles upon him one day. And so Tai Chi offers to be his um, note taker for classes and in return Kohei will give him lunch boxes because Tai Chi is a broke ass law student. As much as I liked it, um, artwork isn't my favorite. It's a very rough style. It's just not a style that I'm used to, but I still like really appreciate it, so. You know, all good. So anyway, just to catch you guys up. Oh, I gotta even tell you guys what I read on the airplane. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So let me tell you guys, I read three books on the plane. Wow. <laughs> it's so crazy. I read so many books last week. So I finished a study in Charlotte and then I ended up reading one, two, three, four, five books. I read five smutty novels last week, finished a study in Charlotte and read a manga what the actual flip guys what even happened this is nuts so let me do a quick wrap up so i have i hit a sunspot which i don't rate mangas unless they're really terrible because i just don't know how to rate manga i just they're just not rateable to me we then have the first book that i finished and that is a study in charlotte by Brittany cavallaro i think my expectations for this book were just too high because I did enjoy it and I thought it was a good book. It just wasn't what I had really expected. And I ended up giving it three out of five stars, which is quite low for me to rate like an actual novel. The next book I read was At Any Price and this is by Brenna Aubrey. I actually really enjoyed this. It was really cool. It was a smutty romance novel that has to do with a girl who sells her virginity. So she is an online gaming blogger and in order to help her mother save their ranch because her mum had cancer and then they almost lost their ranch because of the money that they had to spend for her treatments and so she decides to sell her virginity in order to get money to help pay for the ranch and then also like help her pay for medical school eventually 
and then we have a guy winning her virginity which sounds <laughs> really weird and he's like the massive CEO of this gaming company which is the MMO RPG that she plays and honestly I could have rated it lower but I just actually really enjoyed the whole relationship between the two characters and I felt like I enjoyed seeing them get to know each other and I enjoyed seeing the whole gaming aspect of it, it was really fun and it was just an overall fun read and it was just a storyline that I really enjoyed and there was nothing in there that stood out to me as problematic or that upset me or anything like that which I really appreciated. The next book I read was The Deal by Elle Kennedy, my babe. So I could have skipped The Deal and just gone on to the next three in the series but I decided now nah, I'll start from the beginning. They're all like individual novels, they're just like companions of one another and they all follow a guy in like this off-campus hockey house they all live in. So our first with the deal follows Hannah and Garrett and they are probably one of my favourite couples ever. I just love the deal so much. It is definitely like having reread it, I very I could have given it five out of five stars like I had previously, but reading it through a second time there were a few things here and there that were a little bit cringy to me and that just didn't sit right. Um, so I ended up giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's the classic, you know, fake boyfriend trope slash hate to love trope. It's more of a fake boyfriend trope than a hate to love trope in my opinion and I love it so freaking much. This series, Elle Kennedy's writing just makes me laugh and the spark between the characters is just so real and it's just, oh, I just love it so freaking much. After the deal though, I actually decided to take a quick break and read Hate to Love You by Jennifer Suzevic. Um, yeah, so that was a bad idea because I didn't actually read the blurb of this before I read it. It was just a Kindle book that I read on there and I was like, well, before I go off and buy the next few in, like, in the off-campus series, I might as well read this one that I still have. It was just the exact same frickin premise as the deal. Legitimately the exact frickin same. It's kind of creepy. The only difference is that the main character in Hate to Love You was a virgin and the main character in the deal had been previously raped. And that's, that's the only difference. I had no idea that there would be the exact same book. It's about a girl who ends up helping to tutor a hockey player then the two of them fall in love. The dad of the hockey player goes after the girlfriend and is all like, You're distracting him from becoming the best hockey player he could ever be. And I was just like, what the hell? Like, why the hell are these literally the same? And in my opinion, because I love the deal so much, I just did not love Hate to Love You. And I feel like if I'd read the Hate to Love You at a different time, I probably would have rated it higher, but I only gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars because in comparison to the deal, it's not as good. I will say that Hate to Love You is a lot more of a hate to love romance, whereas the deal is more of a fake boyfriend trope. They don't really, they don't hate each other or anything. She just, the main character Hannah just thinks Gary is a player. Hate to Love You was a lot more quick paced and the characters fall in love a lot more quickly. I think that also kind of distracted from the story. So the next book I read was the second book in the Off Campus series and that is The Mistake by Elle Kennedy. Mm. So, so far, I've only read the first three in campus books. This, in my opinion, is the weakest one. We follow Logan and Grace. The issue with this one is the romance starts off very quick, and I don't like the way that it kind of came about. It felt very unnatural, very unrealistic, and it just kind of annoyed me. The whole first half really just didn't sit right with me, and it's not until after they come back from summer break that I actually really enjoyed the book. Like the last half I really liked. I didn't like the ending that much. The ending felt very rushed and it felt very convenient. But the thing is is that I just love the characters in this book so much and I was laughing my ass off the entire time with this book. Like it was just so hilarious. I just love my four boys so much and just seeing them was so great. Four to five stars is definitely what I would give the mistake regardless. But I think because I read the deal right before it as well, it kind of, the deal's just so amazing that compared to it, the mistake isn't as good. However, if you're just looking at the mistake as a book on its own, it's a four out of five star book. But if you're comparing it to the deal, it's definitely like a three out of five star book instead, if that makes sense. Next, I have The Score by Al Kennedy. 
Oh my god, I gave this book a 3.75 stars, and I only took off 0.25 stars just because the ending, once again, was a bit rushed. And I don't know why that is. I feel like the ending is just if they she, Elle Kenny just tends to wrap her books up a little too quickly for my liking. Otherwise, oh my god, I loved this book. The two characters, Dean and Allie, oh my freaking god. I love them. I loved their chemistry. I loved everything that happened. They were just my freaking favorites. Like I'm actually rating it higher than the deal. I once again was laughing my ass off, but I was laughing my ass off even more in this one. Like, it was just so amazing and so great, and there were, like, barely any cringy moments. Like, the only time things were kind of eh was the very end when the conflict resolution. It just felt a little bit too fast-paced for my taste. <laughs> fast-paced for my taste. But otherwise, the living loved it, and it was so amazing. And Oh yeah, that, that, that's it. That, those are all the books that I read last week, which is so many. So we have a total page count right here. And I have the list of all the books that I have mentioned and read this week in the description box down below, just so you guys know. But otherwise, that's all I have to say for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch, guys. Bye!